For seven generations, carpenters at the family-run Michelangeli workshop have been producing sculptures from slowly aged wood. And the family is thriving here, in Orvieto, in central Italy, the headquarters of the international slow city movement, which aims to improve quality of life by slowing the pace of modern living. Gaia Ricetti says the business has felt the effects of the economic crisis, but they prefer a town that favours artisan quality over mass-produced products. The Cita Slow movement is essential because we wouldn't be able to produce the same quality of product without the slow component in our production. This hilltop medieval gem, surrounded by castles and vineyards, helped found the movement, which is open to any town of up to 50,000 inhabitants. Orvieto has banned cars in the centre, and nowadays visitors park outside the town and use a cable car or escalators to get in. With no fast food outlets either, Pier Giorgio Olivetti, the director of Cittaslo, says the idea is to put the brakes on frenetic modernisation. Cittaslo is not about depleting values, money and resources. It's a universal idea that's also an antidote against negative globalization. The town prides itself on its traditional artisans, with printers and potters working in small workshops dotted around the center. We love living here in Orvieto because it allows the sort of tranquil life you can't have in other places. And as we are not ambitious, we don't want to make money, but have a relaxed life. This is the place for us. Founded in 1999, this Italian movement, prizing simple, healthy living, has spread to 28 countries, including South Korea, Turkey and the United States. It hopes to expand to bigger cities in the future, with Orvieto as the perfect template.